Abharam Mana of Believer Church Vijayagri Public School to share my thoughts on Do Schools Kill Creativity in Children? Before I begin this topic, there's an interesting song by Harry Chapin called Flowers Are Red on how schools deal with creative thinking. And the song goes like this. A little boy went first year of school. He got some crayons and started to draw. He put colors all over the paper. For colors was what he saw. But the teacher said, What are you doing, young man? I'm painting flowers, he said. But the teacher said, Flowers are red, young man. Green leaves are green. There's no need to see flowers any other way than the way they always have been seen. But the little boy said, There are so many colors in the rainbow, so many colors in the morning sun, so many colors in the flowers, and I see every one. Well, the teacher said, You're sassy. There's a way that things should be. And you paint the flowers the way they are. So repeat after me. Flowers are red, young man. Green leaves are green. There's no need to see flowers any other way than the way they always have been seen. Think about this. Children starting schools this year will be retiring in 2070s. A world that would be so different from now. Hennessy and a Mabel in 1992 identified a few creativity killers seen in schools and homes. First one is surveillance, hovering over kids, preventing them from taking risk. Second one is evaluation and third competition putting children in a win or lose situation. The moment children are allowed to make mistakes, children are prepared to be wrong. Only then something original will be born. Teach children to think outside the box. Ask them open-ended questions. Teach them to be future ready. Understanding that intelligence is diverse. Intelligence is dynamic. Intelligence is distinct. Will hopefully create a better and innovative world. As Picasso said, All children are born artists. But the problem is to remain an artist when you grow up. Thank you. Thank you.